Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Business Fun Podcast. This is me, Dave Wakeman. Uh, this episode is going to be a fast one, very short. Uh, recorded live at the Cover Genius booth at Intix in Seattle in January. Um, we did a couple of podcast episodes really quick from the Cover Genius booth. Um, we wanted to talk to people about why they wanted to come to Intix, you know, what they were learning, what, besides me, what they were excited to see. Uh, so this one is a really great uh, and quick conversation with Angela Higgins. Uh, she's from Sydney, Australia, and along with Joe Michelle, she puts on the Ticketing Professionals Conference of Australia. Uh, so here is my short conversation with Angela. Welcome back to 8 Minutes of Intix Live from the Cover Genius booth at the floor of Intix. I've caught myself a new friend. Uh, who am I talking to? Speak into the microphone. Yeah, uh, you are underselling yourself, Angela. All right, but that's okay. We've known each other long enough that I can make fun of you and you can make fun of me. Totally fine. All right, so why do you come to Intix? Oh, gosh. Because, do you know what? I've, I've been coming to Intix for quite a while now. And despite the challenges of travel at the moment and, and the exorbitant cost of making it all the way across from Australia, it's just been so worthwhile. So I think you've probably heard a lot about the community and how special it is um, and how great it is to just share ideas with people who are facing the same challenges with you. They may have already solved the problem that, that, you know, that, that you're facing, so it's good to sort of share those ideas. Um, and also to, just to see the technology that's on display, particularly this year, it feels like there's a, there's a whole lot of new technology that I haven't seen, a whole lot of opportunities that you know, I like to see what's, what's going on internationally so that we can you know, go back home and share those ideas and, and, and hopefully try and entice some of these wonderful companies to make a trip down under. Yeah, I'm always selling them on coming to Australia. Yeah, I am like a, Australia's biggest cheerleader. <laughs> they should make me like me and the koala bear. They'll put us like right next to each other. All right, so what have you learned this year? Like what's one thing that like really stuck with you? So you're putting me on the spot here. Um, do you know what? I think that the, if anything, the resilience of our, uh, our community and our industry has really shown through. I mean, I knew that we were all facing challenges, but just to see uh, that it's, I think what we went through was so isolating. Um, yes. So, and so to, to come back here and just see people who have faced all the same challenges, maybe implemented different strategies yep. to deal with it, but that we've all come through that and that we're all still here, I think is, you know, that, that's really wonderful. Um, I've got some great ideas on pricing, I've got some great ideas. I, I learned about NFTs. Reluctantly, very late adopter on that. Like, oh, Reluctantly, I like that. Reluctantly, I'm just like, oh, is there something else new that I need to learn? But, you know, I was in a session this morning with um, Anthony Esposito and the team um, from the NFL and Ticketmaster. And, yeah, that was that was really great for me. And I think, you know, just thinking about how that could be applied to our industry back home, I think there's some really exciting ideas there. So what are you going to use? Tell me one thing you're going to use. We got to keep everybody in the dark. Yeah, it's fair. Now you know Seattle is like a little bit of my hometown since I was born here, right? I didn't you're know that you're a little. Hell, yeah. well, you know now you know. Yeah, so, know. what's your favorite thing about Seattle that you've experienced so far? Oh my gosh, you know the people have been amazing. Yeah. And I, I was blown away by Climate Coach Arena. Yeah, but it's very cool, quite right? An incredible venue. You know, I worked there when it was the Key Arena. Really? I mean, I'm sure everybody's heard that, but a hundred times by now. Yeah. So, I, you know, I love seeing the presentation about how they've approached their, um, their, their carbon footprint or carbon zero yeah. approach to producing events, which is, you know, that was really incredible. But just to, you know, be in that space and have the green inside yes. and, you know, and hearing about how that project came about, I think that was really satisfying. So, for me, that was it. I wish I was here longer. I have to be back in Australia. It takes, you know, a day to Oh, yeah, it's a long flight. <laughs> I wish that I had been able to be here a little bit longer and check out some of the, uh, the rest of the city. Yeah. All right. So final question. Final question. Yeah. Is like, you've known me long enough that like it, it's it, it's always exciting to see me. <laughs> of course. But besides seeing me, what's been the most like ex thing that's got like exciting thing that's happened to you this week? Well, I, as I said before, I think catching up with people. This is my first in person in ticks post COVID. So. I think what's been exciting, what's been amusing for me is to hear the noises that come out of me when I see somebody I haven't seen for a while. I've been squealing a lot and hugging a lot. And <laughs> <laughs> that's, that 
involuntary noises. I think that's been the biggest surprise, but yeah, that's been a lot you, of fun. Yeah, you can, there's kind of like, it's not um, a hiccup so much, it's like a, yeah. like, and it's like you didn't just see me like 30 minutes ago, you're like, yeah. well, you're still excited, yeah, so and I, I've, it's I've true. I've turned a few heads with strange noises in the foyer here, but uh, that's, yeah. that's me. Now, before, actually, I'm, I lied about the last question, so because what I want to do, though, is before I let you go, I want you to plug the TPC in Paramata. <laughs> Because I, I would be loath to not allow you to do that, and, and especially to be like, uh, plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug, plug. Yeah. Absolutely, any opportunity. Look, we're really proud of the Ticketing Professionals Conference in Australia. It's, you know, we had, we had our first event in 2019, and we shut down for two years uh, in 2020 and 2021, and we were able to get, uh, get the conference back up and running in November 22. We already have plans for October 25, 26. In Parramatta, just outside of Sydney, and we uh, just can't wait to, um, to to bring everybody back together and hopefully from you know from here entice some of these wonderful people to come down to speak, to share their ideas, to share their technology um, and their innovation with us. So. Obviously, I I tell people go, so you go yes, definitely. Absolutely. But thank you for doing this live from the Cover Genius booth. Amazing. Thank you, Dave. What did you think about my conversation with Angela? Let me know. Send me an email. It's davidavewakeman.com. Uh, check out my website. It's davewakeman.com. Get the Talking Tickets newsletter. That's talkingtickets.substack.com. Each Friday, all the ticket things you need to know. Uh, check out my friends at Cover Genius, covergenius.com. Uh, we did a really cool panel at Intix uh, where we talked about the customer journey and how embedded protection uh, helps accelerate the purchase of tickets. Uh, we found out an incredible number from the Playhouse Theater in Ohio, which is that 48% of customers are taking up refund protection. Uh, that's unbelievable. Uh, Audience View gave us a number that said 61% of people are buying tickets due to content, not price. Um, and then Cover Genius gave me this number about the increase, uh, which I think was about 25% or 25 or 34% uh, elevation in NPS score when you offer embedded protection. Uh, so there's some really great, cool stuff. Check out Cover Genius. There's a new research report coming out soon, too. They have some other great examples and great numbers. Uh, but hook up with Joe and Haley, uh, Chris, um, all the people that cover genius. Okay. Um, until next time, thank you so much for listening. Uh, there'll be a couple more of these really short ones soon. All right. Take it easy.